Welcome to another collection of funny phone calls. And let's take off with a young man who regularly takes off. His name is Steve, and he frequently disrobes in order to earn money. Steve is known as the streaking motorcyclist of Luton. Clad only in a crash helmet and Wellington boots, he regularly rides through the town earning money for charity. He's sort of Barry Sheen without the equipment. His brother Chris contacted me and suggested Steve would make an easy victim. Hello. Uh, could I speak to Mr. Stephen Kakul, please? Yes, speaking. I um, hope I pronounced your surname correctly. My name is Maureen Watson. I was given your phone number by the local paper. Uh, yeah, what was it about? I believe you streak. Yeah. For money, you know, for charity. Uh, yeah, it goes to kidney research. Would there be any chance of my organisation hiring you to streak for us, for, for charity? Uh, yes, certainly. You know, what is the organisation? Well, I'm chairwoman this year. I've just taken over the chairwoman this year of Dunstable WI. We have a flower festival coming up in a couple of weeks. Have you seen the, the posters? No, I haven't, actually, because I'm working in London. Ah. We have a flower festival coming up in a couple of weeks' time, and we always have um, a really big turnout of press. We have the TV coming, and I want it as a little surprise for on the final day when we're giving the awards... Um, something extra special. And I saw the article about you and I wondered whether you could sort of streak through the flowers. Yeah, I could, you know, but I won't sort of do it if there's any young kids about because, you know, it's sort of likely to offend people. Well, obviously, I have to be very careful myself because there will be lots of ladies present. Um, do you do you wear anything? Uh, Wellington boots and crash helmets. I beg your pardon? A pair of Wellington boots and a crash helmet. Is this for safety, safety reasons? Uh, no, it just sort of goes with the image, actually. Oh, I see. You know, because it was a naked motorbike ride around Luton Town Centre, which raised money for kidney research, because I had a kidney transplant two and a half years ago. Yes. And, uh, it's just sort of the end thing, you know, it goes with the image. I see, I see, you explained it. But, but it's certainly the Wellington boots will be useful, just in case there's any rose thorns around or anything like that. Well, this sounds very, very promising. Um, there won't be any small children. But as I say, there will be lots of ladies there. I think they'll take it in good spirit. Um, do most people take it in good spirit? Well, for sort of most reaction, people just sort of laugh, you know. It's yes. quite interesting, actually. But um, I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound indiscreet at all, but your, um, your pieces are on show, are they? Yeah, well, they're inoffensive, actually. You know, they're really small. I see. Because yeah. um, men are terribly messy, aren't they, at the front? Terribly messy, are they? Uh, well, I don't really look at other men, actually. Yes, I... I've seen a few. Um, I always think they're terribly messy, but of course it's the bottom that makes people laugh. Uh, well, you know, it depends how fast you're running, you know. Well, quite, quite. Well, look, this sounds super. Um, would you like to, to make a note of my name and my phone number, and then we could maybe arrange the details and the date? Yes, yeah, certainly. Hang on, I'll just get a pen. Yeah, right, got it. It's Noel Edmonds from Radio 1. Oh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> You're serious, are you? Yes, I am. Morning. Oh, good morning. How are you, Steve? Oh, not too bad. I'm working down in London and sort of just got home for the weekend. It's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> now, who would have wanted me to do this to you? Well, I have not got a clue. <laughs> uh, my brother's the only one I can think of, actually, I think. <laughs> That's it, it was Chris. <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I really do seem to encourage violence amongst Radio 1's listenership.